Hi everyone, welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the benefits of glycine. So you may be familiar with this uh, amino acid. It's in almost every, um, it is in every animal food and it is in several plant foods also, but it is in every human body and every animal body. It is actually something that we don't even make ourselves. We need to eat it and consume it. Uh, but glycine is really responsible for the integrity of your gut. So if you're someone that is dealing with gut health problems, you definitely want to make sure you're getting enough glycine. We need about two grams a day of glycine and that's actually a, a good amount so if you're eating a plant-based diet you're probably not going to hit, hit those numbers however if you eat uh, the you know minimum amounts of protein from animals you probably meet that number easily glycine is less abundant in the animal tissue like the muscle meats that we normally eat but much more abundant in the skin the joints the tendons um, all the gelatinous parts of the animal and this process form is what a lot of people take in supplement form as known as collagen uh, you may have tried collagen powder or something like that that's all coming from glycine so glycine is uh, so helpful for the gut because its main function is actually to help rebuild the enterocytes and the enterocytes are the uh, cells that line your gut wall and the interesting thing about the enterocytes is one of their main jobs is to pull in glycine. So this is one of the reasons that I, I believe that we see so many GI problems with people on plant-based or especially vegan diets. They're just not getting the glycine. And then when you put people on these animal-based diets, now they seem to do much, much better. And that could be because they're getting sufficient glycine. So it's really easy to get glycine as long as you're eating an animal-based diet. Um, two grams a day is the minimum. You can get the supplement form or just simply eating meat. My favorite way to, to get enough glycine is to get it through meat broth. So bones don't actually have as much glycine in them as the connective tissues and whatnot. So making bone broth probably won't get you exactly what you're looking for. But if you make the broth from meat or at least joints and uh, knuckle bones, or for me, I boil the whole chicken, you'll definitely get enough glycine. So consuming that on a regular basis, you should get all everything you need in order to keep those cells healthy of your gut. As a side note, there's a lot of other benefits to glycine that you will, um, you can look in the uh, links below for the research that I have found on this, but basically for the skin health and even preventing damage from your liver due to alcohol consumption. So if you're someone that consumes alcohol, you may wanna consider upping your glycine content in your foods and just in your diet in general. And also um, glycine blocks the basically um, things that it cause tumor cancer cells to grow, such as polyunsaturated fatty acids and other things, they actually block that. So they use glycine to help in cancer treatment um, for, for reducing the growth of the tumors. So a lot of interesting stuff on glycine. I think that we have barely scratched the surface. The study I'm gonna link below is from 2017. So pretty new stuff um, just in the last several years. But I think there'll be more to come as we starting to um, do more research on animal-based diets and learn what more we can use from these diets to actually heal our bodies. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you like that, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Have you used glycine in your diet? Have you seen big changes from it? I know I have for myself and many of my clients. Um, in fact, I often give them a little uh, type of glycine cleanse when they start working with me uh, to get things rolling quickly and it works. So comment below with your experience with glycine and I will see you in the next video.